you're looking to engage your team players into perform at a higher level within the business, this video is for you. It's very short and sharp, yet the concepts are really powerful. Firstly, I know that if you've hired correctly, your employees want to show up every day, do a great job, be acknowledged for it, yeah? Some may be a little confused about what a great job is, but human beings in general, when they're in the right environment, want to show up and do their very best and love to be acknowledged for that. So how do you create that with your team? So firstly, what I want you to think about is they need to have a vision. They need to have an, a, a, an objective of how, why they're doing what they're doing. And this is why business vision and your core values are important. Another video on that. But most importantly, they need to understand how the business really operates and functions. What's the model? What's the model of winning in the business? Now, if you have a vision of where you're going and where you'd like to take your team, they're gonna show up more engaged in the first place. But the next step you can take, and this is probably the important part, is share with them the business model. Share with them how the business generates income, how it keeps profit, and also how it loses profit as well. It's almost like asking players to go out on the field um, and play, but they're not quite sure of the rules of the game. They're not quite sure what winning looks like. They're not quite sure where the goals are. You know, they can see some sticks down one end and you know, in AFL, there's two tall sticks and two short sticks, but what does that represent? What about if everybody just went down there to kick in the outside area instead of the big sticks in the middle? So a lot of the time, employees who aren't that engaged don't understand what winning looks like within the business. And how effective are you at sharing what that is with them? Now, if you don't share with them, they're gonna make it up anyway. So what I really suggest is that you have a look at how you can explain simply to the, to the team, you know, when a certain amount of income comes in or when $100 comes in, how much goes to um, cost of material, cost of labor, what's left over, what are the overheads in the business, what does it take to run the business on a day-to-day -day basis, and in fact, what that most of, you know, and most of the time, that small profit margin at the end looks like. Then you can share with them actually the benefits. If we do grow our profit margins, what can we then do? We invest in better equipment, better technology, the future of the business. But most importantly here is also share with them what happens when the business loses money, when the customer doesn't pay, when the jobs blow out, when too many materials are used, when the overheads creep too high. Where does that come from? And it doesn't come from their pockets, it comes from your pockets, yeah. So if you want to engage your team, help them understand how the team wins. Secondly, help the employee understand how their role specifically helps the business win. Now, again, they'll show up if they're a tech, for example, they're a technicians, they'll show up every day with their tools, they'll go out on site, deliver the job, ideally do the best job possible, have the customer happy, and then they'll follow directions and the guideline and the schedule, and they'll do that day after day, week after week. But specifically, how they do their job and how well they do their job, and effectively they do their job, explain to them how that supports the team winning. Because otherwise, again, they will just make it up. Some might get it right, some may not. But engage them and help them understand how their role and when they do it well, supports the business. And thirdly, if you wanna have people perform over and above, not just do what they're paid to do. And by the way, I'm not a big believer in, in incentivizing employees to do what they're paid to do. You know, they have a position description, they have some, key performance indicators, or we call them what winning performance indicators, what's required of them in their role to satisfy getting remunerated with their salary. Don't you know, give people incentives for doing, over and a, for, for doing what they're just paid to do. If you want to incentivize, incentivize for amazing performance and as a collective team. So you may share that winning over here looks like X, but what about if we won and we did even better than that? collectively as a team, what does that look like? And then go to work on creating a scoreboard that helps the team see how the business is progressing and how each of the individuals within that can assist in what winning looks like. So an example could be, if you're in a service and maintenance business and um, dealing with residential customers, you know, going out, helping the customer, fix the challenge, have a happy customer is all part of doing the job. 
But what about over and above that, you wanted to collect Google reviews? Because these days, Google reviews are a currency of credibility. And I know a couple of our clients have created games with their team where they'd love to get the number of Google reviews from 10 to 20, from 20 to 50, from 50 to 75, whatever it is. And then what they said is, guys, as a team and as a unit, because it's not just up to one person, it's up to the collective experience, right from when the inquiry comes in through to when the job is completed and the follow-up call is done. That whole journey is what the customer's related to. They can engage their whole team in that game. And they can create a scoreboard, because we're 10 today, we could be 11 tomorrow. But by the end of the quarter, we'd like to be here. And if we can collectively work together and get our Google reviews up to this level, this is the team reward. And again, that reward is up to you. But again, it's not necessarily about how big the reward is but it's about engaging the right people in a game that they wanna show up and play each and every day. That's not the only way to engage your team in how to perform, but it's one way, and it's one that's worked extremely well with the clients that we're working with at the moment. Take what you like from that, leave what you don't, and if you'd like some support in implementing any of that, please be in touch.